Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, in this video, I'll talk about this amazing technique inside of Silhouette newer version. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Guys, right now we're in Silhouette and as you can see that this is the Silhouette recent released version and this license provided by Boris FX. So thank you Boris FX for providing us this license. And guys, if you notice this effect, this is not a new effect, new, new update, but the technique which Silhouette is providing us, it's just very easy. You can do it this kind of thing in any compositing software like After Effects. I already have the tutorial. You can check that video in any time. But in Silhouette, they are making this process in a very symptomatic way. So today, we will learn this amazing technique how you can do that so for that you just have to reset everything so in silhouette new version you all have this node graphs so no need to reset just simply delete this so that it will come in default so right now it's in complete default so uh, for this kind of thing it will be using by silhouette paint but I am trying to use this by using paint and silhouette roto node as well because we want both of this so the connect process is very simple just drag and like this so it will connect something like that okay but uh, you should connect it to manually now you can open it from after effects as well uh, that can also be useful now these are the two inputs which already i have so this is my roto tab and this is my paint tab now why i'm taking this roto i'll tell you after some time so uh, this is a paint node from silhouette and uh, in this uh, method we are using only the paint brush tool and guys i'm trying to create silhouette master classes well i'll trying to teach you each and every detail step by step so if you're really interested for that video then don't forget to comment down below now uh, if you notice the movements and all i want some light should be going this uh, hand so if you notice the hands are shaking and all to make it uh, really stabilize you have to do some roto tracks by using this roto node you just have to take a new layer and simply press uh, just this kind of spline and then just you have to track it by pressing shift t or just click here you will go to this direct tracking tab and simply go to this kind of tracks you can do it by frame by frame so that track will come really accurate if you click play maybe sometimes the track will not getting proper so i prefer to create step by step or frame by frame to get an accurate track now i want a little bit stabilization so that's why i'm doing it in a very roughly you can take your own time now see this is not working here so until here it's working so i'm just delete last three keyframes from here just simply delete it now you have to rename it like a hand why i'll tell you now go to the paint tab okay so now if you notice we have to create this light effect so for that you have to stabilize it so just click here and you have this hand layer which is already provided by this roto layer so just click here so now what happened if you notice this layer is already stabilized something like that okay now this is something jerk the stabilization or the track is not getting proper it's not a big deal we want a little bit stabilization to make sure that hand is not moving too much it's only in front of your screen so now simply i want this paint stroke brush now let me tell you how it will work so these are my paint uh, tabs here so this is the object list we don't need that now these are the few options like preset those who guys familiar with proto paint in silhouette they know what is exactly it is this is a preset you can save anytime your preset and use it after times then is a hue saturations to make a your own custom colors like green blue different shades from here you can click in fact you can change it by using the sliders this is a very very useful stuff and in fact you have this basic colors which is by default full red uh, semi-transparent pink and the darkish kind of red and if you decrease this you can get some transparent colors in every mode now see there's a black this transparent black these are the things and after that there's some size which is a brush size opacity you all know that softness you can see here as well the output which would look like this then the fall off and the flattens and the angles if you click the flattens and then the angles you can see what exactly it is and these are the basic simple steps which you already know this is and these are the options which is the most important this is rgb red green and blue alpha normal color details these other option will be using for paint purpose the tutorial will be coming very soon in detail and after that's the alpha portion and all done okay now what you have to do you have to create some cool effects so just decrease the brush size and then you just turn on this option 
which is a called union option okay union skin option if you click here this is a new update here so if you turn on and this is if you just on here you have this three options which is called backward forward and mix rate now which is backward and forward the mixture rate is now if i have like i am starting this on this fourth number frame now let's uh, draw shape something like this okay now i have turned on this one now if you notice something happened here which is exactly nothing which is the next frame of this so this is my current frame and when i turn on i can see the next frame here so why i am showing the next frame not the previous frame the reason is i have this backward and forward option on now if i want to the forward thing you have to turn on this backward and if i want the backward thing you have to on that forward so it means now right now i have my basic frame which is the master frame now when i go to the next frame you can see automatically it's just go some lighten color and the lighten one is my previous frame which is the backward option when this turn on you can see this is my current frame and when i turn on i can see the previous frame so in this way you can get your position that how exactly the previous frame was there now to go to the next frame you just make the shape something like that next frame next frame so it means you already get reference that where is your previous frame uh, clips and all so it help you to create some cool effect without getting any mistakes so th in this way you can create these are the effects in a really precise way not a roughly in after effects or any kind of software it's just a messy so that sometimes what happened the effects will not come proper which you want to create now turn off this and turn off this stabilization off and then just go to the first frame and let's see what happened here just play here now see who it just looks amazing so in this way you can create this effect now how i create this smooth stretching options here so it's for this you don't need any tracks so let me show you how you can create this so just simply click here and like this and then just turn on this onion option go to the next frame now i want to be a stretch now i want this hand when going down it the lines will show like it's just stretching something like that so when you go to the next frame you have this previous option and you have to create it from here exactly so it show like it increasing from this area now go to the next frame again you have to create it from here sorry it's my mistake create it from here and again create it from here and again create it from here and after a few times you can change it to middle so that it will show like now it's going going to finish so now going here make it down like that and something it's really interesting and you can play with this you no need to be some precise thing and all so let's see what exactly happened here so let's play it and um, yep it looks some stretchy thing see it looks just amazing and uh, i hope you really enjoyed this kind of stops and now guys if you have to create any more thing you can do it by your own way so these are the basic simple updates you can call you can call it as the basic simple steps to get this kind of amazing outputs in a really simplistic way so i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes then don't forget to subscribe our channel vfx world also please like this video also you can dislike it it's just up to you i want some engagement on my channel and guys make sure you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below and guys upcoming days i'll give you more interesting tutorials like this so till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking vfx world